Hi guys, welcome back to the Mar Brothers. Today in Sahara de los Atunes, in Playa de los Alemanes, with one of the most insane homes with a view to fall in love with. See it for yourself. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the intro, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real privilege to show you the stunning home in a priceless location. This is the main entry from the street level. You get to see already that the botanic greenery has been taken care of with love and care. We have so many different lavender plantations, olive trees, orange trees, and of course, a home designed by none other than Fran Silvestre, a star architect. Let's begin the tour. This would be the main entry. This home is rectangular in shape and you have glass facade in the front and in the back. This one automated, guiding you in to the entry foyer. To my right, we have a bedroom. Here we have the living room area. Let's check that one out first, come on. In this rectangular space, we find the living room area with the most insane view. I'm gonna be saying view a lot, ladies and gentlemen, because the view is what makes this home so perfect. Now let's talk about what we have here. We have a big kitchen island with an inbuilt sink. Of course, the induction just there, but we'll get there in a second. Appliances by Bosch, inbuilt fridge and freezer. And of course, the minimalistic style that is so throughout in the entire interior design that for instance, all the appliances are nicely hidden as well as the air conditioning system buttons. So nothing that shouldn't be exposed is exposed. Nothing that is just pitch perfect. Of course, here we also have more drawers, dishwasher, everything that a kitchen needs. But I would say that this kitchen is one of the nicest one due to its position and the view you get to enjoy. Adjacent to it, of course, Benchmade dinner table. Here, <laughs> nine people are going to be sitting and looking at the scenery and the drama that happens throughout the day. It's ever changing colors, the sea changes, it's actually the ocean, it changes colors and even the light here is so unique. Little console and of course your first lounge here and as you get to see these lazy chairs here, they're purposely put here and we're going to be making use of them because I'm going to be sitting like this here and I'm just going to be looking at the Atlantic Ocean and the Infinity Edge swimming pool that merges with the Atlantic Ocean and the sun that will set. Now, the way this home has been built, by the way, is to capture most of the setting sun. And that's why the rectangular space is also in this position that the front facade looks outwards. Now, I'm gonna be walking this way, because here we would have lounge number two. If you ever get tired of the view, yes, you can actually open this up and watch a movie. So if you want to enjoy a movie, you can do that here. That sums up the space entirely. What I would like to do, Patrick, is maybe go to the far end once again to show you the first bedroom out of six. 
and just to explain you the rectangular shape that this home is built in with both facades being fully glass so you get that visibility all the time and of course you can also close the blinds down and do a complete blackout here now main entry the entry for you i spoke about before little pantry here we have the guest toilet you also have soft clothes and as you can see everything is sort of seamlessly inbuilt here we have bedroom number one now i know what you might think it's very simple but to be honest the environment around the house is overwhelming so you really want to put all the focus on that rather than clumping up the interior design of your livable space we have got a big bed a working desk and of course this extension here that's your bedside table the same porcelain flooring throughout and a really big window facade glass lighting windows that you can also open up and in summer it's kind of feel like you're living outdoors here we would have the two sink vanity set up with the same i think this might be creon drawers just underneath with soft clothes and you do not need to put the lights on because you've got the illumination coming in and the sea views when you brush your teeth and i'm always a huge fan of that now before we leave the space just here of course shower that's actually the toilet toilet and here the shower and i'm just gonna have to put myself there because you shower here and you're tanking in that unbelievable view 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 that's all it is in this house and the architectural minimalistic style and design that is just perfect for this plot let's continue bumps of course there are cupboards here and drawers for your jackets so when you walk in you can put them there immediately and here a pocket door to close the space down and of course create more division and sectionize the spaces very smart and we're back in the heart of the house I'm loving it. I can't wait to show you guys outdoors. So you're going to have to hold your horses until we do, because this floor still has down the corridor free for the bedroom. So let's go. By the way, staircase that leads down to the lower level, which houses another two bedrooms and a games room. We'll come to that at the end. Now, this would be the second bedroom. This one, a two bed setup, as you can see, once again, the style and design is throughout is clean it's minimalistic and best of all when you lie here on that massive pillow by the way this pillow is huge you get to enjoy that massive frameless picture window from floor to ceiling wall to wall with the view out to the ocean perfect now to continue we also have here cupboards and drawers which of course can't be missing and above the air conditioning which Luckily, we put on because it's already getting hot here in April in Spain. Let's continue to another bedroom, which is just there. Now, this bedroom is very similar in style and design as the one we have just seen. But let me open this frameless floor to ceiling window and show you what we have. <sighs> Can you call yourself lucky, huh? If you wake up in the morning here, open that window, smell the ocean sinking into this room. The view is just absolutely bonkers. I love it. I'm just, I don't even know what to say anymore. Let's continue to the next room. Now we are going to the third bedroom. Let me just quickly point out that this bathroom here is to be shared with the two bedrooms that we have seen. The one sink vanity set up, the toilet and the shower and of course nice indirect lighting and illumination is also present. Closing this door soft close, kind of nicely inbuilt as well. We are guided to the last bedroom on this floor. In the back you also get to see the orange trees. It's nicely divided, the greenery with uh, these metallic inbuilt plates big bed setup and of course this bedroom enjoys an ensuite bathroom unlike the other two we have just seen which are the bathroom i have shown you and here it is perfect now to finish off this space there is still this little corridor here that gives you the space for your cupboards and your drawers you get to see the amount of light you have here and to be honest the minimalistic style works so well with illuminated spaces 
and this corridor is super long in the rectangular shape this home is built in. Now, we still have the lower floor to discover, so let's go. And of course, you can exit your house as well, taking this door or which, by the way, let me just quickly show it, disappears completely in the cloud here. You can also enter because this would be a private drive in to the house. Park your cars here. But wait, Patrick, don't turn around because architecturally speaking, this home is fascinating. And I think the key, as I said before, is the simplicity in which it's been built with. You've got the rectangular shape that continues to the far end with the bedroom that we have seen first sort of cantilevered outwards here as well and another round a little garden area here nice and green and the gorgeous view which you cannot miss from any angle of the house and down here you would have the street entrance with the main gate drive your car up go in through the lower level and enter your home or take the staircase which is just there and go to the back of the house. Now I'm gonna take that seemingly hidden door back inside to show you what else there is. And this, by the way, will also be fully grown over with vegetation at one point as this home is relatively new. Back at the main entry at the lowest level and taking this passageway, we have further rooms. Let's look at this one first. It would be your laundry room and as you can see, it's sterile, it's clean, it's white, just as the laundry room should be with your sink there, drawers, and of course, more space to hide your things. And here, washing machine. And here are your washer and dryer, which are also present. Let's continue. And that would be to bedroom number five. And lastly, to bedroom number six but before we do they both share this bathroom right here clean simple useful that should be a slogan anyways last bedroom just here and before we leave the space hidden kind of you wouldn't think there is a door there is you are welcome to a little games room which houses a little kicker set up here paneling on the wall in direct lighting good ceiling high tv set up here with a big couch snack fridge and if you turn around of course that's what i mean with the tv setup so you come here after the sun has set you have nothing else to look at because it's pitch dark you can watch a mar brothers movie on the big tv or annoy your parents with some drums <laughs> now to continue the backside also has this big patio and it comes very useful and I will explain you why. We are in an area that sometimes gets very windy. So especially when the Poniente wind comes, which is the wind that is generated through the heat of the air, you can find yourself in an enclave here hidden from the wind and simply enjoy the shade as well. As you can see, it's super bright in the front and shady here play some ping pong, maybe some footsie, put in a bath tub here. Not a bathtub, maybe a jacuzzi and have a good time. Now let's go back outside to the pool. Come on. This entire glass window door is automated as well. So you push a button and it kind of just opens like a theater curtain to welcome you to this gorgeous view that just unfolds and becomes an everyday adventure as the scenery changes. And to be quite honest, you come here firstly because the tuna fish is fresh and it's super good. So you have a lot of tuna restaurants in Sahara de Atunes. And of course, for the peace and tranquility in this gorgeous bay. Now we have a nice long swimming pool with the infinity edge. As you can see, it kind of flows into the Atlantic Ocean. Right here, a big couch set up to chill, parasols for the shade sun beds to relax on we're going to be making a lot of use of these tonight olive trees the vegetation and just a beautiful setting atlantera by the way is the agency who's in charge of the rental of this beauty so if you are looking for some me time holiday time in paradise contact them in the description box you'll find all the information and with that said ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in if you enjoyed the view the location 
the architecture, which I personally love, the minimalistic style and design, which isn't overwhelming, which you want on a holiday. Do let us know in the comment section below. Give us thumbs up, subscribe, like, share this video with everyone. And yeah, ciao guys.